Hello, my name is Rainer Goswig and this is a short demo of um, uh, Symbolics Concordia, the documentation preparation system from Symbolics. What you see here is the document examiner. The document examiner is a tool to see um, documentation, general ships with uh, all the documentation also in uh, online electronic versions. So on, your, on the right you see the books which are available here on the machine. It's about 10 to 15,000 pages worth of documentation you have online, you can search, you can look at, you can browse. So let's say you want to look at the documentation program development utilities, left click, and it prints the documentation here incrementally. So you can scroll down and the documentation gets printed. You see, see the section and if you move the mouse cursor then you see the stuff is full of hyperlinks here. So create a dev system. Dev system is actually um, a list macro. Left click and you see, oh it's a function, it says it's a function and um, we can browse the documentation here and um, scroll down here for more documentation and so on. So middle click gives you an overview, it's a section, it is included in some topic, it appears in a document, there are several keywords and you see the tree of this uh, documentation here, middle click and then you can browse the tree like defining a system, system plan and then I see here the documentation for system plan, show system plan and so on. These are documentation records displayed so you can not only browse all the documentation as it's appearing in a book, but you also can browse each uh, documentation record individually and um, move between them. Say you want to show documentation, the topic is accept, for the list function accept, and you see you have a documentation record which displays a function, it's uh, displays the argument list here and then you will have some information about the keyword arguments and what kind of values they take. And um, this is not the only way to look at the documentation. Let's switch to a listener. Show documentation accept. And you see the documentation is being printed to the listener in the same way it would be printed to the documentation examiner. See all these options now printed here. So except has lots of options. Um, let's scroll up here. As you see the documentation itself is uh, still mouse sensitive in the listener. So we can look at uh, the graph, the topic, um, except is appearing in several places, actually two, in a dictionary and here in some book where um, there's a uh, chapter on top level presentation type facilities. And you can click on this one here and then you get the documentation record for this option displayed here. All this stuff is mouse sensitive and you can move around. Middle click, middle click, and scrolling up and you see stuff is still mouse sensitive here. So the documentation is available in this form from the editor and the listener and the document, ex uh, document examiner. 
The document examiner is, is um, also maintaining a list of bookmarks and um, you can switch books and you can, for example, um, show table of contents. So now you will see on the right upper pane in a few seconds the table of contents of this book. <coughs> Genera is currently looking up the information and then displays the um, tree. So you can scroll down and you see say you want to read a little bit about the patch facilities and then you see in the subsections of the section patch facility. So clicking here will move to making patches. So you see the document examiner um, creates a very hypertext browsing like experience. And now the question is how do you create these uh, documentations and for that you have Symbolics Concordia which is, which is the um, the tool to write the documentation, select W, switches to Concordia. Concordia has on the left side a ZMAX <coughs> buffer, which is extended to also allow uh, edit uh, documentation records and documentation markup. And on the right upper pane you have several sub-applications of Sym Symbolics Concordia. This is the editor, what you see now. Page is the page previewer here. You get the graphics editor and you get a book style design browser. So you can have uh, printed your book with several style types and um, this is a tool to browse these. You have editor commands here. You can expand these topics here like the commands for the buffers, commands for links, commands for records. Or you can get a menu if you right click and you have um, a pane for your record names you are editing. So I'm having here a a ZMAX buffer with two documentation records. Um, so there is an example document record for demonstration and here's another document record. Um, I have this buffer here, documentation records. I want to reorder the documentation records. I want to move the example record to the top. I drag it up, done and you see um, they will be reordered in the buffer here. So a section has contents, one-liner, it has keywords, and you can add uh, additional fields like related, for example, here. So let's create a documentation record, create, so this is example documentation for Symbolics Concordia. This is the record title. So I want to have a record type, default is section, so return would give me the section. Right click for example gives me a completion pop up here. So there are several types of sections like picture, message, generic function, special form, structure, even rules. And uh, let's create another section here. So example documentation for Symbolics Concordia was what I was entering. So here we have the contents. This documentation is written for a demo.
some more content here. A one liner, the top level section for this example. Keywords is demo, for example. So we can, if you scroll up, you see the other ones are still there. And um, how does it look like? Well, you um, you say preview, and there comes a scroll down pane, and you see the example here. So this documentation is written for a demo, some more content. How do we add markup? Well, let's look at some markup commands here. We want to create markup. What kind of markup do we want to create? Right click and we get a pop-up for all the markups here. You see it has headings, it has index stuff, it has page references, it has tables, it has um, enumerations, it has signatures, it has examples, figures, what have you. So we're putting something like um, itemize here. So this is a markup for itemize. One line, another line, the third line. So preview, left click. So you see it itemizes my text here. Uh, the tag itself is mouse sensitive, right click. You can get additional attributes here. So space above, below, um, indentation, spacing. Let's say you want to have spacing of two lines and, and preview so you see there are now two lines spacing between the items how do you create links um, so let's look for links say create a link and um, what kind of uh, record you want to link to. Um, I have three documentation records you see on the right pane here. I say I want to link um, example document record for demonstration. I want an include links so it includes the content of this And I want to also include the other one, create link, another demo record. And I want to also include this. So preview. So you see the documentation is now made out of this documentation record and includes also the other two. The stuff is mouse sensitive middle click brings you back preview again right click you see you can edit it you can whatever so example documentation for symbolics concordia is the section select l go to the listener show documentation a example right click gives me <coughs> a completion example document record example documentation for symbolic concordia left click so you see the documentation here middle click you see the hierarchy is displayed because this sub record 
appears in this uh, documentation record and this one in this also so clicking left clicking left you get all three clicking left here you get only this one so select W goes back to Symbolics Concordia so now we create another link um, create link I want to create a link to this documentation record but I don't want to include it right click I want to have a cross-reference link and there are several cross-reference link appearances like pop-up like C like topic let's try the pop-up cross-reference wow here is some uh, more info preview here is some more info another demo record the name is printed it's mouse sensitive and mouse click gives me a pop-up for this documentation so let's create another link create link I want to link the same record I want to have the cross-reference view but I want to have a different appearance I want to have all the C appearance so see this section another demo record so let's preview and you see printed C the section another demo record click left and you uh, move to to this documentation here and let's add another link create link another demo record view is again cross-reference and appearance is um, topic so the idea is that you have to write something the following uh, section gives you much more information so preview the following section and you see now the link is in the text gives you much more information clicking here uh, you get to this record so we have example documentation for symbolics concordia we go to the page previewer format page example documentation for symbolics concordia is the default okay so you see the page here mouse sensitive table of context right top next page and you see the example documentation here printed as several records I can then say edit this one or whatever and I also get an index into the stuff I can change how it looks like with my book style so this is very basic and um, if I press help I will see some more commands for example I could um, print this documentation or I could save it uh, I could um, save it to a file maybe could show some documentation parts can say show overview and so on so the um, documentation um, previewer here is um, something where you look at the documentation how it might look printed 
So, this is just a short demo of Symbolix Concordia here, so I'm not going much more into um, the uh, thousands of possibilities what you can do with uh, Symbolix Concordia. Just a note, uh, you see that um, the documentation itself is stored in files and you can make a dev system which includes several files and um, you can then create versions of these files. If you patch some of this documentation record here, um, you can um, save it as a patch and you can deliver your application updates with also updates to the documentation by just um, shipping patches for individual documentation records. So the documentation you will load for some uh, software system will be documentation like 50.100, which means you have 50 um, version 50 of the documentation and 100 patches to documentation records. Yeah, so th that's it for now. Thanks for listening.